Having trouble with mycotoxins? That gives us something in common. This is the Mycotoxin Minute. Of the regulated mycotoxins that we cover on the Mycotoxin Minute, there's one that we don't deal with that often, Zeralinone. So we thought we'd take a moment to ask, what is Zeralinone? Like fomonazin and deoxynevalinol, Zeralinone is mainly a product of Fusarium fungi, Fusarium graminearum and Gibberella in particular. Unlike these other mycotoxins, Zeralinone is a non-steroidal estrogenic mycotoxin meaning that it mimics the effects of the female hormone. So what can happen to animals that consume feed contaminated with xeralinone? As it turns out, there's a whole catalog of nastiness associated with xeralinone. If consumed at high concentrations of 1 to 30 ppm, Zon can interfere with ovulation, conception, and fetal development. It can lead to other reproductive issues, for swine in particular. Abortion, stillbirth, and reduced litter size and viability of young are possible. Young gilts are especially vulnerable to xeralinone. Very low concentrations of 0.5 ppm can cause vaginal and rectal prolapse. Young boars may have reduced libido. Among swine, only mature boars seem to be relatively unaffected. This may be because of how xeralinone works. Its structure allows it to bind to the estrogen receptor, although with lower affinity than estrogen itself. There are generally fewer of these receptors found in males. To add insult to injury, one of the metabolic products of Zon, alpha xeralinol is three times more estrogenic than xeralinone itself. I admit it, this might not be the most uplifting message to end on, but it's one to bear in mind as harvest season continues. We'll see if we can't dig up something more positive for our next episode. See you then.